Hey, what's up? This is Max Green, and in this video, I'm going to show you some revolutionary ways to, um, I guess, to take care of your skin, improve, improve your complexion, deal with acne, all that stuff. And this is going to be different than what you're going to see in other videos. This is a, a system that I've evolved probably over a few years now, and I was someone who, who dealt with acne when I was young, when I was, like, when I was a teenager. And I also want to sh share these tips with you to help tell people out. So I'm going to show you something really important here. This right here is the best exfoliation method ever created. Okay. Yeah, I know this is like, a, um, what is this? It's like an all surface cleaning pad, all surface that, that means anything, right? You know what I'm saying? It's not necessarily just for like cleaning pots and pans. You can use this actually to clean your skin. And this is what I'm going to be showing you in this video, this is one of the most important things because I'll tell you man, or girls, any, all those products that they sell you, <clears throat> like those little exfoliating brushes and loofah scrubs and all that stuff, or even this, it's not gonna exfoliate as well as this, not even close. This is the best thing you can use. It, it doesn't cut your skin, it doesn't, it doesn't, it could give you scratches if you don't use it properly, but if you're gentle with it and you, you follow what I show you in this video, you're gonna get amazing results, so let's get started. So here we are. Yeah, I know it's kind of embarrassing. I'm, I'm talking you in the bathtub, but hey, this is the best way to exfoliate your skin because um, let me explain. If you, um, let's say you put dishes in the sink, like you're going to soak some dishes in the sink, you know, and you have a bunch of food stuck on them. After you've soaked them in the water for a while, you'll notice that they'll, you can scrub off the dirt much easier. So that's why I recommend that you, that you do this and do my whole method. Do never, I never wash my, my, my skin standing at the sink. It is just a complete waste of time because one, sometimes you might have dirt around your hairline and it'll drip down and you're just, you're not really soaking and softening up your skin. That's going to get you the best results. That's what you want to do. So as I was showing you in, I was just showing you, yeah, this is, this is your key. This is the most important thing you're going to be using right here. But you, you might think, oh, you're going to be using moisturizing soap. Yeah, using moisturizing soap is fine. The important thing is that you're exfoliating. You're going deep in your pores and you're exfoliating. So I, this is like a micro moisturizer one. I use a combination of two different soaps. I use like a moisturizing soap. And then I also use like a, an invigorating scrub kind of thing, you know, like the menthol sort of minty scrub. And using the combination is great because, you know, one will get, moisturize your skin and help your skin tone and everything and, and improve like the, just the feel of your skin. And then one will also help eliminate dirt and oil and other things. So you're just going to, this thing lathers up super nice, super well. That's what I like about this one, man. There's, there's all these different styles of these two, but I, I would say get the generic ones. I don't, I use this, there's another one called Doby or Doobie. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'll show you a pic of it. But I kind of just like the solo ones and each one's about either 99 cents to two dollars I and mean, if you buy them in bulk you can get tons of them so that's what I would recommend just buy them in bulk switch them out every um every couple of days because sometimes they don't they lose a little bit of their um the exfoliating power that they, they become a little less rough I usually like them just fresh fresh out the box because that's when they work the best so what you're going to do is you're just going to work over areas going circles and I usually this is this is the area you want to avoid. You don't want to, this to scratch you because they work really well, but you want to avoid getting any scratches. So you go over your nose and you can like fold it like this and, and work all these different angles and really get in there. It works amazing. Use it on your entire body too. You can really exfoliate all this dead skin off and especially on your elbows and stuff. A lot of people, look, look, how, look how smooth that is. Like I used to have like a lot of rough and dead skin on my elbows and on my knees and stuff and I've just been using this and it works just amazing in getting that getting that off because if you think about it like you can use a washcloth and other stuff but it really doesn't get on really doesn't just exfoliate that well you know this exfoliates amazing so yeah just keep working at that and um, just go over your whole body and then a lot of times after I'm done I'll soak and then sometimes I'll go back and scrub it a little more don't over scrub it to the point that you're like you you know that your skin is is um, is red or you're cutting it or doing any kind of damage but just do a good exfoliation on it you'll know when it's time to stop you'll feel like dude like it's you know I, I've exfoliated enough in these areas but yeah it, this is just amazing <laughs> Oh, 
handheld shower head. And you gotta have a handheld shower head because what this allows you to do is you can I sit on the floor of the bathtub and I'll actually take this and I'll just put it on like a mild setting and then I'll move it up to a really hot setting and then just spray your face down with it really well. And that really helps get all the moisturizing soap off and everything and just helps fully clean your pores. Like there's nothing like it. It's just amazing. So like you can buy one of those bath pillows, but I prefer this because it's just more comfortable. Like you can just put it behind your head and it just, you can mold it to whatever shape you want. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your shower head like this and then you're just going to like spray your face with it like underneath all around. And I mean, you can spray your body with it too, but I'm mainly just showing you for, you know, for acne problems. So spray your face with it. And often what I do is I'll start out at a cool, a cool setting and then I'll like turn it up a little bit hotter, you know what I'm saying? And, and just keep getting hotter and hotter to the point where I can't take it anymore. And then I'll take a little break, you know, and then I'll spray it down again and just so I feel I've sprayed it good enough. You know, that's the important thing. You really want to give yourself a really good, um, a really good spray down with some super hot water. That's the key. If you don't have super hot water, you're not going to make as good progress. So make sure you, you, uh, go, I mean, don't scald your skin. Okay. I don't want you to like, you know, give yourself third degree burns or something like that. But I'm just saying, you know, when it's hot enough. Okay. You know, when you're going to burn yourself and you know, when you're just, when the water is just really hot, but yeah, that's an amazing technique. And then when you're done, turn the water down and, and it's, I kind of reward myself by spraying my face down with like super cool water. Like, ah, you know, it's like, feels nice and it helps you cool off afterwards. All right, lastly, here's one more tip. So you uh, say you just got out of the shower or your bath and you, you just finished, you take a blow dryer and just blow your, blow dry your face with it. And what that does really helps close the pores up and just helps you get like better results. And yeah, that's just a great system to use. You can use it on cool setting, you can use a hot setting, whatever you want. But as long as you just you uh just use the hair dryer right afterwards, it works great. So that's like the the icing on the cake. It's like you did all the exfoliating, you cleaned up the area, and then you do this and you're you're good to go. I'll grow my nails out a little bit. Like, look, look at my nail right there. Like, look how look how long it is. I'm not trying to flip you off. <laughs> I grew it out just a little bit on the middle and the, the index finger on my right hand, on my left hand too. And then that way you can work different angles. And then you're gonna just take your fingers and then you're just gonna like dig in there and just scratch down like this. So as I take like all my fingers like this and then I'll just, you kind of start at one spot and then you just kind of drag your finger down and just kind of make little like ching, 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 ching going down. And um, I just do that around my forehead, and you can you can go up near your hairline and just keep working out. And you'll notice, especially if you if if you have a lot of dirt and oil on your face from that, especially like say you just were exercising, you're on the sun, whatever it was, you you'll notice a lot of you know dead skin will flake off, and that's that's really great because you're just getting really deep in there and getting all that dirt and oil off, and really preventing acne. It gets even deeper than this does. Like it, this is great. This is actually great for some areas that you can't really use your fingernails on. But I, I use a combination of both. Don't spend too long on it. I mean, I might spend ten minutes or more just until I feel I've gotten all the dead skin off, rinse off, do it again. I do that while I'm sitting in the bathtub, obviously. But this is a great method. I just want to share that with you. Don't ever shave your face with this. Never. This is a complete scam. This is a scam created to get, get people to continue buying razors over and over and then you get razor bumps by this razor. Not everyone, but I'm gonna trim her, okay? And what it is is like, you can trim it so close. I mean, you can't even see the difference. Like, look, that's how I use it. I, I press my thumb on it. I'll tell you which one this is. This is the Philips Norelco. So yeah, I just hope maybe I can reach out to a few a few people, maybe some teenagers or maybe even adults with acne, whatever it is, and maybe I can I can be that light of hope, you know, that light of hope up there, and uh, you know, help them uh, help them really discover the best way to take care of their skin and just free themselves from the burden of of having acne and, and dealing with the, you know, I I, I like to say the it's the system, you know, be, getting caught up in the system, so. Much love to everyone, and I, I really ho hope this system helps you out. God bless. Peace.